Okay, everybody, here we go on the case 2470. I got the first wheel insert cut, and I got the first bearing drilled and attached to half of the rim. So this is what the this is what the spindles, all four spindles are going to turn on right there. And so that will give me my 5 8 bearing. And then there will be a cap that goes over that will look similar to this. And that will go on the inside. That's just the other half of the rim I'm using as an example. But I will make a cap that goes around there to give the look, the look of the real one. And then the other dual will go on here. That'll go right here. And then you'll have that cap will be inside there, back in. Then this will be open like on the real tractor. And so that'll give us the, the more realistic look of the duals instead of having an axle coming out all the way. So that'll give you an idea where we're at there. So, so for right now, that was the first step. So now I'm going to show you how I've never cut these any circles on my plasma cutter before other than freehand. And I uh, saw on the internet where they showed how you could do it. They want, I think, almost $200 for a little a little plasma cutter tool that, that lets you cut circles. So what I did was, come on down here, Deb. Here's two more of the half rims with the bearings that I'll use on two more of them. So what I did, guys, you can see right here where the one of them I've already cut out. And that's on that wheel. So what they showed you on the, in, the internet was take a piece of one inch or inch and a quarter or whatever you got and uh, just take it and get your plasma cutter tip. Right here. And drill a little hole in it, the, the diameter of your, the tip of your plasma cutter and then countersink it like that so it fits down in there and just about touching not quite and then take a piece of tubing which these are going to be maybe different sizes so whatever size it is just find the piece of tubing and then that's gonna that'll set right in there and it'll set right with maybe a sixteenth of an inch from touching the bottom so i tack welded that on so then the next step was put a bend in it because when you're cutting, if you got that extra handle there to grab onto, you can keep it spinning a little bit better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I drilled the quarter inch hole here. I got all this measurement. This is only for a seven and a quarter diameter circle. So any, any other diameters, I'll show you here in a minute. I cut the center out of, after I cut the outside, I cut the center out for that, those bearings. So I drilled a second hole with the diameter that I need for the, the for the middle bearing. So for right now, I got to bolt this piece here down to the bottom and snug it up. And just finger tight. Okay, so here's where we're at right here. So this is going to spin around. It's going to hold this while it's doing it. So you can kind of get an idea. Spin it around. I'm going to push this back right there. So I've got this hanging over the overhang. So right there. See how I'm grabbing this and pulling it and moving it with this? Just like that. So when I got this to get this plasma cutter going, that will cut that perfect, not perfect circle, but it'll tell you it's close. It's close. So get my goggles on. And, uh, I'm gonna get ready to go here. Now, they say you can drill a hole there to start it, but I didn't do it, and it was it was fine. So here we go, guys. Perfect, but pretty close. 
Okay, we're back. This is the first time Deb's going to edit and put stuff together because it just takes so long to uh, do everything in between. And So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the inside circle out. the inside circle for the bearing right here where the bearing fits in and uh right there and I would have went a little tighter on the circle but that it won't fit because that's as close as I can get to that little holder so I just center it and, on the other one I just centered it and bolted it into place so so that worked out good so Okay, now, let's get ready to do, so I did these two, they actually turned out good. Now I have to drill the two middle holes here, quarter inch, and let's see if we can get those drilled. Here's the two holes for the next ones. So, bring that out here so don't overlap. I'm gonna tack this onto the, the reason I tack it is because I don't have a surface here I can clamp to without it being in the way. You know, if I put clamps here, that'll hit, it'll hit this as it spins around. So I just tack weld it on one corner because that's just, that's scrap. That ends up being scrap anyway, so. Now we're going to cut the middle circle out of there. Okay guys, here we go. After I got the circles, the first prototype circles cut, I, uh, I'm going to kind of show you here how it's going to, how I'll end up making all the rest of them. So to begin with, you, you see that the bearings, the bearings are attached to the, to the, the plate that goes right onto the rim. And then I'll show you how this is kind of going to go together. So we got, here's the, here's how the duals, the duals are going to be attached with these three bolts here. So the duals have a, and there's a spacer on that plate. So I'm putting this on, this goes on second. That goes on second and then the, this nut goes on to hold that plate on. And there's my, this will be the spacer. Okay, now I made this center piece here to, uh, to represent the, the part that was inside the rim there, like the planetaries. And so that will kind of go like that. And then this rim this this um, spacer that hooks into this side of the rim will also hook into this side of the rim, and so and here's the three the three attaching bolts for that. So I've got to line this up, and let me get him started onto a spacer somehow here. Okay, so now there's that. And now let me just run a little quick nut on that to hold it. And I'll show you. So this is basically right here how how all four wheel assemblies are going to go together. And those will be uh, so there's quite a bit to it. So there's uh there's three circles on each one, so I gotta make twelve. I gotta make twelve different circles here. So let me get this second one on. But I think it's gonna look good. That's it will hold it good and there's 
the second one. Right there, and one more, third one, right here. But the, my little homemade plasma cutter tool worked great. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do any grinding on the outside edge. There, there's the, it's not perfect, but it fits in there. It looks nice. And uh, I got a couple little bad spots, but not bad enough to, if I'd have done it by freehand. So, so then this, this is how it's going to end up looking right now. There's the duels. The spindles will be hooked back here. What will steer it? And I got the bearings. The bearings are on all four rims right now. So, and there's the there's the spacer in the middle. You can kind of see. And then there's there's your uh, planetary cover there inside there. So when it's all done, I think it's going to look really nice. So, I'll, so okay, have a great day.